Hey, what's up? Here's a quick comparison of air fryers. So we've got the Philips air fryer, and then we've got the Ninja Foodie. It's a six in one, and one of those is the air fryer. So we'll just talk about the air frying aspects of the Ninja. So let's start with the Philips. It looks like um, the way it's set up, you've got a basket, which is almost what you think of when you're deep frying. You deep fry it in the basket. So it kind of reminds you of that a little bit. It just slides in and out. You've got your power up here. I'm going to turn it on and then you just use the dial mainly you do, do dial and your like enter button is just pushing it in so you can go from 220 actually down below to 100 all the way up to 400 and you just push it in and then you tell it how long the number of minutes and then when you're done you just push and it turns on you can hear it going right now so I'm just going to stop it right there. As far as cleaning it, basically all the internal parts, well, not all, but the basket removes, this part removes, it just pops in and out. You take this, that removes too. And then the whole uh, bottom part also removes by pushing that, it pops out. So not hard, but there is uh, quite a few parts when you clean it and you want to keep it clean. Okay, the Ninja, this, Ninja is amazing, but what you have to do is when you open it, make sure you have your air frying basket in here. Now I think some people may not even use that, but you want your air basket. That's pretty much the bottom plate of the Ninja. That also comes out and washes. So when you need to wash it, you would just wash these two pieces. That's all, and it's super easy. You just stick it in the dishwasher. Dishwasher safe. Now if you look, this is nonstick, which is nice. So it's uh, just like on the grill plate. It's got that kind of non-stick coating on it. So just be careful. Probably won't want to use uh, like rubber or silicone tongs or whatever, pulling your um, items out of the basket so you don't scrape that off. And then the great thing with this, it is called a smart grill for a reason. So we go to power. Where's my power? Power is right here. Okay. And then you just go to air crisp. You adjust the temperatures and this will go up to 450. So this will actually run hotter. The Phillips, the max is 400. This is 450. So you just adjust it and then you adjust the time right here. And then you press start and you're good to go. And this will actually walk you through it. it um, it'll actually, it guides you while it cooks, which is the really cool thing, especially if you're doing meats and you're doing grilling. That's the, the grill plate with it. But uh, it walks you through it. It'll tell you halfway through to flip it. It'll ding and it'll actually say flip right here. You lift the lid. You can, uh, you know, flip your food, kind of shake, your, take the basket out, give it a good shake, put it back in and finish. Uh, these both are great air fryers. As far as the end result, they're going to be good with, with both. The main difference, I think, is this is going to be easier to clean. Of course, the Ninja has all the other functionality as well. It's got the roasting, the baking, the the grilling. Um, the Philips, it seems to be smokier. So make sure it's next to your vent, like your oven vent, or a, a open window or something like that. It does seem to put out more smoke, in my experience, than the Ninja. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, but yeah, and, and then the Philips is going to obviously take up less counter space. So if you're just looking only really for an air fryer, probably the Phillips is the way to go. Uh, if you want to have the multiple functionality where you, you have the flexibility of doing, uh, like grilling is great indoors, especially if it's rainy or if it's cold, uh, the, the Ninja gives you that flexibility, but they're both going to do a really great job air frying.